We have a well lubed a pan. A well lubed pan. Correct. You can use a little bit of that sesame oil that we've been using. When well, don't you want something well lubed? Uh, That's what anyways. I want to know. A five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, it's Broadway Nash. Hello, friends. Welcome to another episode of Broadway Nash. I'm so excited about my guest today. His name is Telly Leung. You guys know him. He was Bach in the original Chicago Company of Wicked. You were Angel in Rent. Yeah. He was Out Magazine's Out 100 for 2014. You are currently one of the stars of MTC's The World of Extreme Happiness. Yeah. Thank you so much for being I'm here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to cook with you. I know. Me too. It's me too. Blessed. Now, Telly, you grew up in Brooklyn. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Yeah, Brooklyn. So, you know, I grew up eating spaghetti and meatballs, a lot of Italian food, yes. right? So, oh, so my grandma raised me. She was the one that taught me how to cook. Of course. So I know how to cook Asian foods, but I love to eat Italian food. So yes. I figured we kind of combine the two. I love my it. Chinese and my Brooklyn roots and make Telly's Chinese, Chinese meatball. What I like about putting fresh vegetables in your meatballs is that it actually helps keep the meatballs moist when you cook them. So we're gonna put some sesame oil in this pan and get this shit started. Looks like our onions and our garlic have been cooking for a little while, so I think maybe I'll uh, throw in my green onions. So you kind of want to cook down this mixture in the pan until you see your white onions are a little bit translucent. That's right, and while your onions are cooking, you can start mixing your meat. This I actually learned from some of my Korean friends who do Korean barbecue. When they marinate meat, their secret to making kind of a savory marinade is a soda of some kind. So yes. cola or a lemon lime soda or ginger ale. Ginger We're using ginger ale today. today. It works. We just threw in two cups of panko breadcrumbs. Two crumbs. cups of panko breadcrumbs. So let's get down and dirty Should we, do, should we both do it? Yes, we're Here getting we in, go. in there. Let's get do it. in there. Oh, get in there. Once you have a cool onion mixture, you're gonna also right. dump the onions in here. And like any traditional meatball, you, you use eggs. You've got to have an egg. The eggs have got to keep it all together, That's right? That's right. This is where it gets really fun to mix with your hands. Mm -hmm. Ready? I'm ready. Five, Get six, in. seven, eight. Ugh. We have to let our meat rest for oh, like yeah. a few minutes. So today, we're, we're playing meat. Meaty Hand Simon. You all first. Right. Okay. Oh, tell Oh no! Me. What did I do? Oh, you it up. Let's play it again. Dang it. This reminds me of music theory class. Do me, do me, so. Meow, 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 meow. Oh god. Oh, meow. <laughs> I think Simon said. This Simon said also might be from the early 80s. So. When we found it, there was a Radio Shack battery still in it. So now we're ready to make the meatballs, and we have a well lubed a pan. A well lubed pan. Correct. You can use a little bit of that sesame oil that we've been using. When well, don't you want something well lubed? Uh, That's what always, I want to know. You always, always want it well lubed. What I like to also do is put a crunchy mm -hmm. crust on my meatballs. Love crunchy so crust. we have some panko in a plate. Grab a little handful, just like this. You make them into little balls. I like a golf ball. A little golf ball yeah, size. Golf ball yeah, size. maybe a little golf ball. You take the balls. You roll them in the yummy, dry, crusty mixture. And you put it on and the well-lubed well pan. And you put it on your well-lubed pan. And that's it, and you line them up. I love that you do musicals and talkies. So yes, I'm in a brand new play. It's called The World of Extreme Happiness, and it's at Manhattan Theater Club at City Center. It's a dark comedy, and it was inspired by the Foxconn controversies. There are these factories in China that make right. all of our iPhones and our iPads. Working conditions there sometimes cannot be great. So it's about all of these young kids, migrant workers, moving from the farm to be in the city to make money at these factories. <laughs> Our meatballs are coming along this so good. nicely. Cheers. Cheers. We Cheers. got a little ginger beer here for us. Billy Porter was my showbiz angel. I went to Carnegie Mellon University right. in Pittsburgh. That's where Billy went. Side note, I was not accepted to Carnegie Mellon University. Well, you know what I say to that? Suck, Suck it. it. <laughs> so he came back to direct the show and I got to play Bobby in company. His dance captain from Miss Saigon was going to be the dance captain of the 2002 revival of Flower Drum Song. So he goes, Diva, get on a Greyhound bus, go to New York City, you have an appointment for a Broadway show. I had never been to a Broadway audition ever. So he's like, but you gotta be here for tech, you're in every scene. So it was midnight, tech ended at Carnegie Mellon. I took a Greyhound bus from Pittsburgh and then got to New York City 9 a.m. till like two in the afternoon. 
And then you had to get back on that grand. And then get back on a bus to go back to Pittsburgh. So when I get back to Pittsburgh, there's Billy to go, Diva, how'd you do? I said, listen, if I get this show, I know as the third dancing bonsai tree on the left in Flower Drum Song, I only get like 25 words in my playbill, but four of them will be thank you, Billy Porter. So in my first Broadway playbill of Flower Drum Song, the last four words are thank you, Billy Porter. And I'm indebted to that man. To Billy Porter. To Billy Porter. Look at our spicy Asian meatballs! We did it! I know, these look amazing. I cannot wait to taste it. I made a spicy sauce. Oh, yeah? Awesome. A little awesome. poison, a little soy sauce, a little mirin, nice. all the Asian I'm ingredients. I'm stealing, I'm stealing that off the website. All right, get it. BroadwayNash.com, oh. bitches. Mmm. Oh. Yummy. The sauce is really good. Oh, so good. The sesame seeds add a lot, but it's like, you, they're they're so yummy. Mm. I have like a little nuttiness, it's good. You have a concert at BB King's, at right? At BB King's in New York City. It's a concert that I'm in that I also produced. It's gonna be March 30th. We have some great special guests, and you know, the producing thing is something that I really love be because I wanted to make opportunities for all of my friends mm -hmm. to get together and mm -hmm. do great things together. So since I've taught you how to cook, a little bit of Chinese food, I thought yeah. I'd also teach you and our friends who are watching Nosh little Cantonese. Okay, sign us out, tell us, sign us out. Mm-hmm. Dote. Dote. Good. Joiki. Joiki. Mohei Mo Ode Hoi Yatai Kai Jok Nosh. Yes. Add a dash of jazz hands and some tastiness. Mix it up with equal parts of 